Alright, welcome back everyone. This is Sean Thomas and I'm with Lana, my little daughter here. We're going to be uh, exploring a friend's new base on official server 5. He's got a, a, a little boat here that he's made. Wow, that was loud. That was really loud. <laughs> All right, so we are at Six's water boat here. We just spawned in. He gave us some armor, and we're gonna see if you can hear us now. Can you hear us? There we go. Yeah. Okay, much better. Much better. <laughs> so Lana and I are here visiting your your water base. Go ahead and say hi, Lana. Hi. Hi. So you got a pretty interesting uh, wood ramp. I was trying to keep it tall enough where like strikes and stuff could walk on the bottom floor, like the bottom deck all the way around the boat. And I was going to make that floor up there where people can sit inside, look out, see air, like see arrows and all that stuff. Yeah, you can play too. Very impressive for, was this your second day? Yeah, going on third. Alright. So I got my daughter steering right now. She's going to tour your boat and tell, tell me what she thinks too. Oh, feel free. I don't even know all the stuff available yet. So. Yeah, you're not a member of his tribe, so you won't have the ability to open doors. Those doors are default locked when they're built, and he has the uh, ability to unlock them so that anybody can use them. Looks like he's pin coded a lot of his items too. That's an option when you you hold down E, it'll give you the the option to pin code, unlock, and by default they're unlocked now, except for storage bins. Those are default open, I believe. So we're not going to worry about doing the pins. This is his base. We're just visiting. I'm going to see if I can interact with my dinosaur from the second floor. You see the Triceratops? Where do you think you're going, Mr. Dinosaur? So this is his only his uh, second going on third day playing. He's done quite a lot just starting out with the game, hasn't he? So, the idea of uh, making a raft in a house on that, that's a, it's an excellent idea to keep you safe, especially when other tribes might be hostile, you can just move out into the water. Well, it let me go after monsters bigger than I probably should have been going after, because then I could respawn on the, the water away from them, but close enough where I knew where I was at. It's, it's nice to be on the move to spawn point wherever you go along the coast. You're curious what's in the box, aren't you, Lana? Can't get my dinosaur to not follow me. Oh, there we go. Hmm? Stay there. <laughs> no, there isn't a whole lot to do. He's just getting started, though. He's got a, a new wooden uh, boat base here. He's got one dinosaur, so there's not much to ride, and, and not being a member of his tribe, all we can do is, oh, he's taking us for a ride. See that? All right, so since you are, like, level one, let's go ahead and put yeah, points in fortitude, so we could just... Really tall dinosaur. Oh, let's transport it. And the right side is more for, like, landing shorter, medium size. I was watching one of your videos, but you guys have a sweet floor, like all metal and stuff. Yeah, we've been working. how long it takes to get all that. Uh, not as long as you might think later on. Is So the game is is quite good at uh, progression. So what what would take you three days 
uh, early on when you don't have the dinosaurs to help you could take you uh, hours or less later on once you've you know gotten oh the levels. Gosh. Getting getting berries, I know exactly what you're talking about. The, the hunt for berries is real. <laughs> Trying to get narco berries and stuff knocked out. I got this trike guy now he just walks around and stomps berries like a beast. It's impressive. Oh, what's the of attacking a bird? <laughs> yeah. Kind of fumbling with my daughter here, trying to give her the room so she can control. All right, we're looking at the floor right now. Let's see if we can look at something uh, else. <laughs> yeah, the. Your right. Your right. Don't. Look, look, Lana. Look to the right, Lana. You see over here, just a little bit further to the right. You see the T-Rex. There's, looks like there's two of them. Yeah, they'll eat us if we get too close. Look up in the water, and scorpions. Yeah, you've you've got a scorpion chasing you now. <laughs> there's a base. That's, that's why I like the book too. You can get out of trouble. Just jump and drive away. That saved my life a few is times. Why is it all wintery? Uh, this is. Problem trying to kill these birds. We're in the north. That's why it's so so wintry, and it's also the winter wonderland patch. So they made a lot of a lot more snowy areas. Alana was asking why it's so snowy around here, and I was telling her that it's, uh, it's probably the winter wonderland patch. Mm. Well, that's why it's so loud earlier when the snow was down. I don't remember doing that before. Yeah, I think they they've covered a lot more in snow right now. I know you're in the north, but I don't think That's you're fine. you're on the uh, blue obelisk necessarily. No, I'm not. No, I, no, this is like around the corner, so I still get warm in the cold weather in the general area. What stats do you usually work up first? I tend to work up. Leveling? I tend to work up weight first, personally, just because I like to carry a lot around. And then once uh, I get to oh, about yeah. 200 weight, I might put points into health up until about two, 300. And then I'll continue to put points in weight and then maybe some points in fortitude. But uh, health, weight, and fortitude are the only places I put points personally. Huh. That's interesting. I've kind of spread mine out. I've got stamina, movement speed, a lot of health, a little bit of weight, but not as much as I wish. If you're looking for a food, there's a bunch of berries in there. Outside the... over here. Lonnie, he's saying uh, outside, there's some the berries outside if you want to come and take a look at those if you're hungry. Look, just if you're hungry, I don't know how much food you need. Yeah, she's at about a third right now. Oh, that's not bad. I don't really like having having to eat berries, but in that cabinet, yeah. in the cabinet yeah, right, here, right here, he's saying there's some berries. If you're if you want to eat the berries, six, 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 six. you said it was six six what? I missed All the pin. Sixes. Okay, just six across the board, six, Lana. Six, six. Just what? it's just four sixes to get in there, and so take a stack of berries and stick it on your bar. Yeah, I put that there, so when I pulled up, I uh. You can stick it on one of those uh, hotkeys. Just go ahead and click it. Yeah, and just drag it onto your hot bar. Yeah, dra drag it, drag it from the inventory. Here's an easier way. Let me show you. You drag that down until like put it on like number three or number four. That's that's good. Now push the number four, and you can hold down the number four. Uh, so I'm teaching her how to eat the inventory uh, pretty quick. If you put the berries on a hotkey and while you're in your inventory, you can hold down the number. So just hold down to the number four. And it'll eat through all your berries within seconds. If you hold it down. Yeah, if you have your you have your inventory open. Okay, so you have your inventory open. 
you place the berries inside one of the hot okay. keys, one through zero. And once it's once you have your inventory open okay. and you have it say in, in slot four or slot ten, whatever or, you know, zero, whatever, just hold that key down and it'll eat through all the berries r rapidly. Is, is it faster than clicking the new item real fast? Yes. It would take you probably thirty seconds to get through a hundred berries. Otherwise it would take you only three, I think. Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it definitely works faster with the inventory open. You can also hover over items that are in your inventory and push the T key to transfer them from your inventory to whatever you're looking at, like a box or your dinosaur. Ah, uh, I was wondering how you do that. And then you can also push O while hovering over an item and it will drop the item. Is there a way to select more than one item at once? Select it? Yeah, like in your inventory, is there a way to select, like, select all your berries and transfer them at once? No, but you could hover over and just push T, and you can just hold down T, and it'll transfer as you're hovering over. You might transfer some things you don't want to, but that, that makes it pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Makes life a lot easier. Yeah, those are the things I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, you can jump over to that, Lana, and you don't have to whisper. <laughs> what was the first animal you tamed? Uh, I think the first animal I tamed when I first got started was a Dilophosaur and then a Parasaur. Yeah, you can go ahead and swim. A what? A Dilophosaur and a Parasaur. What's the Dilophosaur? Which one's that? You know the one that has the frill and spits at you from Jurassic Park, the first movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. I get that too. Like little carnivore guy. I'm having trouble putting a... I'm going to use a roof up there for a ramp. I'm having trouble placing it. So uh, roofs don't make good for ramps. Uh, you can walk on them, but dinosaurs have trouble getting up roofs instead of actual real ramps. Yeah, we don't know the pin for that. He only gave oh, okay. us the pin for the one cabinet, and he uses different pins for different cabinets and doors. So we don't know what it is. You're not able to get through that door. Put one down yet. If you find us and uh, hold E down on us, you can invite us to the tribe. That way Lana can get in doors that she wants to explore and stuff. So it'll show you how to invite to tribe. If you walk, right. you walk up to me and you push the letter E while looking right at me. If you hold down E, you'll be given options to invite to tribe. So I have to hold down E. Now we hold down E. I don't have a tribe yet. We'll and then we accept. Here. And then we go to accept here. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yep. Alright. Yep, we're now in his tribe. Thanks. Yeah, I just made this one. Because those things are taller than the single floor. Quite impressive for your second going on third day. Ah, I tried. It's not as organized as I'd like it, but it takes a while to get some wood. Yeah, and once you tame a, um, a mammoth, you'll find how quickly you can get wood just as uh, quickly as you get berries now with the Triceratops. Yeah, I figured it'd be something like that. It's crazy. Well, for some reason the roof doesn't want to go on the other side. I just put it in up here to get up to this upper story. I'll come take a look for you in a second we'll, once my daughter gets uh, her berries that she wanted to eat. See, you learn how to do it pretty quickly. Good job, Lana. Yeah, she can do whatever she wants. Help herself. Uh, she just ate a few more berries. 
So you're trying to put the roof down and it's not it's not fixing to uh, the spot. Is it not opening for you? There you go. Sorry, it, just, it wouldn't go on the right side over here. It would only go on the side that had the door already on it. Which is kind of funny. Mixed it. What's that? Oh, I'm, I'm downstairs. Uh, I'll, just, I'll take a look when I get up there. You want to go up to the second story, Lana? What? You want to go up to the second floor up high? Okay. He's having trouble with his roof. He's trying to figure out how to get it on. Uh -huh. You go swim over there? And for those that uh, don't know how to talk in game chat yet, it's the hotkey is B. And when you hold down B, it'll give you a little microphone. All right, so here we are. Yeah. And where are you trying to put the roof? Can I hold this for a second longer? I was trying to put it on the right side, but it wouldn't let me. I don't know. It allowed me over here. I don't know if that's. All right, so you say the right side. Uh, your right being. Like. Okay, right, right here, right here. next, right here. Right without a door. Okay, can you drop a wall? Right. That way I can see what you're talking about. Or not a, not a wall, but a roof. Oh, that was the wrong one. That, I was trying <laughs> to put it right there. Yeah, oh, okay. Here. Yeah, but, uh, so you're talking about like a ramp, like uh, a slanted roof tile? If you put yeah, a if you put a ramp right? if you put a ramp like, you could go up here, but uh, I think that you're trying to put a roof tile and it's having trouble with that. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like we're standing on is what I was trying to put down. It's the only one I had, otherwise I'd do it again. But oh, sloped roof. Okay. It was showing me. Yeah. So, so you you might try. Yeah. You might try um, actual ramps if you have trouble with this, and. Sometimes dinosaurs have trouble going up roof tiles as well. Hmm. Okay. So the, the the ramps are longer. Do you think it would go through the floor, like through the bottom? Hang on, I'm gonna turn this around so I can hear too. I'm not a piece. Well, if I try it. Hi. Ask him if you can Hello. Hear you. Can you drive my boat? Since you're in my tribe? So you're trying to make it so that you have a ramp up so you can get up here, right? Yeah, that's what I was doing, but it wouldn't allow me to put it here, so I put it here instead, and now I don't have another one to try again. Okay, gotcha. It's not that big of a deal. I was, I was just curious. It had something to do with, with the two levels wall next to it. Because now my door is tucked behind the ramp. <laughs> I can't hear you, Lana. What are you trying to do? You want to ride the dinosaur? Okay, can you find it? I think I'm stuck. <laughs> you're you're looking at the stars. You can't or the sky. Yeah, this one you can't get actually jump down. You're gonna to want to be careful not to get the triceratops stuck in the water, though. I just wanted to show that off to somebody. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, you can what ride it. What happens when you log off? Like, can if I log off and don't come back, can you ask, can like, everything will die for not eating? Yeah, you can ride the Triceratops. Just push E. Look at it and push E. That's how you mount up. Alright, I'm going to push the B key just so I can talk to him, but you can still type on your keys and move, move the dinosaur oh, around. That's cool. So uh, when you log off, your character falls asleep, and it will lie there. It won't consume food or water, 
so you'll continue to survive you know mon months time. months on end if you load up your your dinosaur with berries or increase its food capacity that will increase the duration it will survive so the berries will only last a few days on the dinosaur itself and then you know they they consume one berry per i think it's like 30 minutes hover over one of those berries for a second lana what? hover over one of the berries just put your your cursor over the berry no, all right so it's over 38 minutes uh, per berry so 100 times 38 if you were you know to stack it it might even be 40 as the uh, the full duration of the the berry so you could probably be gone for easily two to three weeks without the dinosaur perishing and you'd only have to log in for a moment eat a few berries you know, like uh, collect a few berries Yeah, it, your your base looks pretty good though. Thank you. Yeah, I, th I figured it was safer where I could just move my spawn point and then hide. I didn't have a tribe. I didn't want to be parked next to. There's a bunch of uh, larger tribes. In the area where I spawned. It's very it's dangerous on the shore. Nice. We don't want to get his dinosaur killed. He just started out playing this game. I logged off though, so because I started He's in a very dangerous today, spot, Lana. And my character was naked and had no equipment. So I think someone may have killed me. Um if you didn't and have my face wasn't if you didn't have to respawn, you weren't killed. You were probably raided. Somebody came in and took all your stuff off of you because they can they can unequip you while you're laying unconscious. Oh, okay. And if they, they did that then. Because I didn't have doors or anything at that time. Yeah, they came in and probably took some stuff from you, took all your armor, etc. Yeah, thanks for showing off the house. Yeah, no problem. I think there's a shark eating the scorpion. I'm gonna stop the. Uh, yeah, really I'm gonna stop this real quick. You can play in just a second. All right. So that was a lot of fun visiting uh, oh. Six's base and right. having Lana explore it. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, we've got I a like shark and a scorpion swimming underneath the boat. All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please mash that like button, subscribe. These things help me out, and uh, it's, uh, you'll also get additional content available to you. And uh, yeah, just a lot of new uh, things to take a look at here. Just uh, visiting somebody else's base, you get some ideas on what to do. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.